guys, this is Acamp, so um, I'm going to go over auto detection today in Notepad++. So pretty much what this feature does is if there's a change in the file that you're working on or whatever, um, it'll auto update uh, when there's a change outside of uh, Notepad++. So I like to use this for SEO purposes because I always have files that are being constantly updated and I like to you know see the changes without having to reopen the file a million times so what you do is you go to settings preferences <coughs> and then miscellaneous at the bottom here and then on the side here you have file status auto detection so right now I have it disabled so any file so this file here, dynamic file, if I update it on the outside, um, the changes won't reflect in Notepad++ automatically. So if we click on enable, now it's going to show the changes automatically. Um, so by default, if you have update silently disabled, um, whenever there's a change, a little uh, box is going to pop up asking you to display the changes or not so if you want it to be fully automatic then I would suggest checking off this option so you need, don't need to confirm the changes every time um, then you also have the option to scroll to the last line after update um, so pretty much after it updates it'll scroll automatically to the bottom of the file so I'm going to check that off and that's that so I'll close it so now I have this file, dynamic file.txt, open in just regular notepad. So I'm just going to write a um, small list. So I'll just do the alphabet. EFG. And Z. Okay. So now if I save this file, it should automatically update in Notepad++ without the confirmation box. So save, and there you go, it automatically opened in there. So now, um, let's test out the scroll to bottom. So I'm just going to copy this and make it longer. So now, when I click save here in Notepad, it should reflect the changes in Notepad++ and then also scroll to the bottom line, which will be line 52. So save, go in here, so now you see it added the extra 26 lines and it scrolled to the last line there. Alright, so that's that, I'll see you next time.